drones. I like how you guys are acting like we're like doing stuff on the computer. I am doing stuff. I'm just trying to figure out like, hey, what will cancel us? Because <laughs> I think we're very close. Things no. canceling movie podcasts. If it, I mean, again, we always say it, no. I mean, bad publicity is good publicity. Like, no, which, it's not. It is. No, we're comedy. Listen, we're parodies. You know, this. I think this fits in well. I think no, bad. Bad publicity is still good, or controversy is good, because I think this person who we're about to talk about, which is very sad, I think he was like infamous for this. I really do. Norm MacDonald passed away after his fight with cancer for like nine years, which is, I never even knew. It was crazy, because the guy was still working like quite a bit, except for like the last couple of years. Um, but like, Dude, when you look at this guy, dude, this guy is like his com- comedic style, man. Like he, he didn't care if you didn't like it or if it was too edgy, man. Like he just he did it. And like now you look back, like that's the stuff I remember but him for. That's not allowed anymore. You can't I know, do it. That's well, man. And that's, that's why, why he's a legend. That's why exactly. He's a legend. Exactly. And like it, it would be interesting to see, like, I mean, if if he was younger and like was still going, like, how would this climate affect him? But like I feel like we lost some of a legend. Like mm-hmm. I was kind of I was shocked. This I was is back really when shocked. SNL was good. Yeah, he but, was on there. Burt Reynolds, come on. Oh, dude! I last night the wife and I we were talking about it, and like we have Peacock, not a sponsor, <laughs> uh, and they had like this thing like remembering like Norm Macdonald, and they had like some of the skits like him being Burt Reynolds on Celebrity Je- uh, Jeopardy, which. Hilarious, by the way. I feel most like, yeah, he was great always. You know, and then you miss those SNL comedians who have their characters that go the length of their career. Oh, they're SNL. so iconic. Yeah, yeah. You don't have that anymore. Are you shaking your can at me, like giving me another one? Pretty much. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad you Beer found out. Mitch Weaver. What? I called you Mitch Weaver. Oh. Uh, well, okay, beer getter. Yeah, but like he. Like that was something like and also like the fact that he, he kinda got fired, like they didn't like what he was doing on, on Weekend Update, which I start looking at it like like he was just too edgy, man. Like like I guess it was too much and it maybe a little off putting. A lot of different scenarios out there on why he was kinda fired from that position, but uh He was like the first one to really like get fired for it, right? I I feel like there's a long history of that actually. Yeah, I think with on there, but like for being too edgy, I feel like that's a little bit different. I, I mean, like, I think people just get fired because it's like, oh, you're not the it thing now. I don't know. But I can't keep track no more. It, but it's true. SNL it's apparently is cutthroat. I don't know, but I, I it, it is sad. Uh, it makes me like want to revisit uh, Norm Macdonald uh, stuff, which I did. All I want is the fifty thousand dollars that you owe us, which. Is what I watch. Spoiler of things to come. Oh my God! <laughs> uh, well, rest in peace, Norm Macdonald. If you guys want to have anything else to say about that, um, yeah, he's one of the greats. Yeah. So I mean, we're gonna miss him. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna miss hearing. His, he, ha- he has an iconic voice. You know? Oh, dude, he did lots of voiceover yeah. stuff, man. And you knew it was him, and oh, because yeah. you knew it was him, you loved that character, like that Mike Tyson series on Adult Swim. He was a pigeon. And he was the shithead on the pigeon. But you're like, you know what? He's the best character. Because Norm MacDonald was paid by Adult Swim to play a pigeon in a show about Mike Tyson. I get it. <laughs> Come on. I'm, I'm stating a statement. I know. You're taking too long. That's nope. what I'm trying to say. Move on and get a Rush beer. on. God, if you were on the Oscars, man. just Norm MacDonald would want you to We need an beer. Oscar sound to shut us up. <laughs> Start playing the music. <laughs> yeah. What's sad though is you're in control of that, so it's always going to be on us, probably. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, rest he in could, peace, Normie. Yes, yeah. you're gonna be missed. Yeah, make. I mean, did he have any decent movies? I uh, I think I feel like he had better cameos, in my opinion. Like when I think of him, it's more like SNL. Wasn't and, he in Half Baked? Was he? I don't think so. He was in another movie with Dave Chappelle called Screwed. Ah, yeah, that was a bad one. White black. I I I don't feel like he had a great film career, but that's see, and that's the thing, dude. Like the fact that like all these, I was looking at his IMDb, 
page. And like, there's a lot of things like that didn't last too long. And I, I don't know, like that was just kind of like his MO, but at the same time, I'm like, Holy shit. Like he's like, like, you know, Norm McDonald, you know, mm-hmm. like you just know well, everyone just like, knows him. His delivery was iconic because he could like, and he could simplify things to like such a level and then just he still was, make it sound like offensive and then hilarious uh, at the same time. Yeah, so, he could yeah. really push that envelope. Yeah, go, go and watch like oh some my of God, his dude, He was a writer for, for Roseanne. Yeah, he's really good at writing. Like, go watch some. No of wonder his why clips. Roseanne was funny. Yeah, watch some of his clips on. Uh, Otherwise, it sucked. Uh, like Conan and stuff. Like the guy is just hilarious. So, mm-hmm. uh, again, he'll be missed. Oh, he was in Billy Madison, Doctor Doolittle, um, psh, one, two, and three. Oh, he was a dog. Yes, in Doctor Doolittle. Yep. Yeah. Um, other news. I don't know what these are. Oh, Christopher Nolan has left Warner Brothers. Uh-oh. Ooh, okay. Is he allowed to do that? <laughs> apparently. Really? Yeah, apparently Wait. if you're white and you have a lot of money, you can do what you want. Directors have free will? <laughs> I thought they were owned by the corporation. Well, he's got to get out of those contracts. Yeah, it depends. I mean, uh... like once Disney like realizes that they need to have more diversity in their um their directors, then no, they don't have a choice. But when you're Christopher Nolan, you make good movies. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, well, this would be the first time right not doing working with warner brothers yeah which i is kind of a big deal because he was pissed off about how they were releasing their films the same time uh, with hbo max notice how quick that shit was shut down everybody stopped after the end of this year no more of it well i kind of well i mean i i figured that i i didn't think it was gonna be forever did anyone think it was gonna be forever? No, no, not at all. <laughs> okay, then, like, but, but I think like the way they went about it, and I still think like it was a good move. I mean, the box office is nowhere near what it once was. Like, so yeah, because you can't even have like find me a movie theater with more than like a hundred seats anywhere, like fifty miles with in our range right now. What? A lot of movie theaters don't have large theaters anymore yeah but that's that's why they changed that exactly and then that's gonna hurt them no but they're not even selling out though it's gonna hurt them they're not just it's gonna hurt them you know what i'm gonna hurt (laughs) Uh, my feelings your feelings because oh i you know what you know the thing about christopher nolan is like all his like original movies i'm glad people still make original movies but like tenet kind of sucked Maybe that's why he left because Tenet was such a bomb, like back and forth. I don't know why I keep on like aggressively pointing I, at you. Yeah, I didn't make Tenet. <laughs> I did directly see across it. from him. But there's a lot of people but that. But you liked... liked Inception. I liked Inception. There's a lot of people that like. There were too many Tenet. questions. There's a lot of people that like Tenet, and it's. I don't think it bombed necessarily. I don't. Put you know that what on I'm him. bummed about? Like, he makes movies where they make you think. That makes me sad too. <laughs> because, <laughs> because. We didn't get a movie, a, a Dark Knight movie, with the Riddler. The Riddler is the most perfect fucking Christopher Nolan character ever. I mean, they already hit it to perfection with Jim Carrey. <laughs> that was Joel Schumacher. <laughs> that's fine, but that's what I'm saying. Like, he could not top the Riddler, played by Jim Carrey, because he was Enigma. You know what would have made that epic? If... Jim Carrey came back as a Riddler in a Christopher Nolan movie See, called The like, Darkest Nightest. And they used the back pod to go tra- time travel. <laughs> Dude, fucking time traveling bat pod to Joel Schumacher land directed by Christopher Nolan. You did this to us. Oh, my yeah. God. That'd you be the this. coolest fucking movie. Him and Two-Face and Two-Face would fight Tommy Lee Jones Two-Face. I like that. Um, would that make you appreciate the bat pod? No, but this next news i am actually pretty excited about who who did who did this it's not me i added notes okay tell us uh anthony mackie the star from that one show where he was um um fucking his friend on that video game oh yeah 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 Yeah, he was like yeah yeah Uh he's fighting well known for that i don't know anything else he's been in (laughs) but um black mirror yes yeah black mirror like where him and his best friend were like brain dead hooking up that was such a weird episode 
we talked about it for oh, a and long he was, time. He, what else has we he been in? That he's been in a Eight Mile. He was in Eight Mile. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's not play. as good at rapping as Eminem. No, no, not no. true. Um, yeah, that guy, Anthony Mackey. Um, he is going to be John Doe in Evan's favorite video game series. No, mine. Yours? You like Twisted I Metal? I love Twisted Metal. I want to play you? it right now. Not enough plot for me. Okay, uh, that's my question. Is it is does this video game title have enough to hold a plot? Because all I thought it was is you had a cool car with a bunch of like Mad Max shit, and you were like gonna destroy your opponents. Well, I mean, look at Street Fighter. That became a movie. Yeah, but that exactly. Yeah, it had a plot. It, it was a tournament. It did not have a plot. They. Who was Jean Claude Van Damme? Well, see, the fucked up thing, if you really want to get into video game lore, was Mortal Kombat was designed to be a Jean-Claude Van Damme fighting game. However, they didn't get the rights to him, so they made their own brutal fighting game. Thus, Street Fighter made from a Streets of Rage kind of fighting game, and they made it into a one-on-one. And then they got the rights to Jean-Claude Van Damme to play Guile. <laughs> well, I don't know where that came from. Wow. Say no to drugs, kids. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Limit knitless. <laughs> uh, I <laughs> back to Twist Metal is I'm excited because I think like so I'm a big fan of like the Death Race franchise. Oh, is that the plot? Kind is very similar, but like and I think it can work. And there's enough like they expanded each time with Twist and Metal and gave these people crazy backstories, which I don't think they're gonna go like I mean. I think Sweet Tooth is actually like from hell or some shit like that, you know, or, or like the Grim Reaper. So is Scorpion. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, so this is, well, I don't know if they're going to go down that way. We're like, oh, we're going to do a tournament with vehicles. Like, I just feel like they could I thought do... they did. That is the whole game. Well, it's like the yes. Mortal Kombat with cars. But do you think the TV show is going to do the same? That's the question. What are uh-huh. they going to do with this? I, well, my thing is like you could totally do the whole fucking, like, it's. No, we're f- not doing a parody of this one. Oh, no, it's oh, like parody. Oh, 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 no, that's my best answer. Could you imagine metal. the cars? Could you imagine the Ace and Gary Dick Mobile? <laughs> yeah, I, I, but like, it's just the idea of just carnage, and you have just such a. You don't need that much of a background with this. It's more just the the nonstop crazy action. And I, see, I think you do. I completely disagree with you. I need something to actually like hook me with this one, because I just know the name. But but, but what about Death Wraith? Isn't that enough? A whole bunch of cars. But they actually had like a d- different. They actually had a story. Well, okay, but if they just put that, like, all right, they're taking criminals and putting them into this tournament where they're just fighting each other. I mean, is that enough? No, because it's based on a video game franchise, and they have to go deep. They have to appease the fanboys. What's this going on? Crazy to? Taxi. I want Crazy Taxi. I don't want to see that at all. I just um, want ninety minutes of the Offspring playing loud as possible. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Idle hands. And you, yeah. Uh, Thank you. Thank uh, you. So, okay, Sony TV, PlayStation Productions. Is this supposed to be like two PlayStation? Like, I mean, where is this going? Uh, and doing movie theaters? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's a it's series. A show. No, it's a TV show. Um, uh, Did you not read your own article? <laughs> I just saw Anthony Mackey from Eight Mile on that um, gay sex show. I don't read my articles either. <laughs> Let's move on then. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. I only read the he- the titles. I'm like, that's good enough okay, for me. <laughs> then we have to change our news section to, to titles. Two titles. <laughs> <laughs> like headlines that I didn't click on. Yeah, it's too much to read. It says Sony TV. We can say it stuff. then. My question is, uh, <laughs> dude, I don't know. That's kind of messed up because I really have a feeling that uh, Disney Plus is gonna or Disney is gonna buy Sony at some point. I just I have a weird feeling that's gonna still happen. So wait, what? So oh, Apple, what? I don't think so. Oh, it looks like it might be going to HBO. It says Sony Picture Television and PlayStation Productions, The Last of Us, is currently in development for HBO. So if The Last of Us is going to HBO, then inadvertently, I think what's going to happen is Twisted HBO. Metal is going to go to HBO. Yeah, that makes HBO. sense. Okay. I like that. And and that's fine. Like I like it. HBO's getting the Penguin spinoff from uh, Robert Pattinson's uh, Batman series. 
That's breaking news, too. Can we, like, stop that? Can we let the movie come out first before we decide to do a spinoff? You know what the thing is? These don't come out. Like, I I swear it's a stupid website called Giant Freaking Robot that's like, oh, let's mash up four words together and make this article about it. However, when you read the fucking article, 90% of the article doesn't tell you anything about it until the end where it's like, what's a good Whoa. headline? Yeah. <laughs> you you click the articles? No. <laughs> what's the good so headline? you just bitched about that, but you don't click the articles. I don't click them because of that website, because when you go through the go web... Go to a different website. <laughs> I, there... There's a whole internet out there. Giant freaking robot has played too much in advertising for me not to click their ads. That's how you get it. Yeah. And that's what we don't do. <laughs> Uh, you fell for their trap. Why don't we have a B Movies Beyond News website where we just steal their articles and reword it and put it together? Is that plagiarism? Yes. If we re- too close. No, no, dude. They literally say, "Hey, we heard this from this site," and then they just make up the rest. Like, yeah, we could do that. That's fine. I like that. That's yeah, how we're gonna make I'm money. I'm not doing that. All right, what else is there? <laughs> um, we got a twin sequel coming out. Do you guys remember that movie? Twins is beautiful. Twins is beautiful. I'm not happy about triplets. You know what would make it amazing? Fuck making it PG and like family friendly. Make it just like it's always sunny. Like put it in that universe. Why does it it's always sunny have its own universe? It does. Yeah. I I want I want Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's small. <laughs> I want Danny DeVito and Tracy Morgan to be like in Philadelphia finding out they're triplets and like and they go to the bar. And they go to <laughs> the bar and meet up with the and and the movie just turns into this like it's like my Facebook story. Did you guys see that one the other day? No. Okay. Like Sorry. this movie would just turn into like a, a sequel for It's So It's Sunny. Um but Oh, the one for the fly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah so the other one, like a Jurassic Park sequel idea. Three million AD, humans are extinct, dino scientists find mosquitoes with human blood, right? Okay. Yeah. Guess who they clone? Jeff Goldblum. Jeff fucking Goldblum. Yep. It gets mixed up with mosquito. Stupid asshole. S- sequel to the, the fly. fly. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Like that's how. Love it. I. That's how movies nowadays. We don't need more superhero movies. We need movies that have the M Night Shyamalan twist and then just go right back to a sequel to a, an old movie. See, that's the part Why that like, hired me. That's the part that <laughs> bothers me. I don't want you to ruin twins. It's like leave it alone. Like but, come up with a new movie. It would have this been is twins. like it would be. It's it is funny. a new movie. It's not a new movie. It's triplets. It's not a new movie. It's, That's like look who's talking to. Guess what? It's the flipping dogs. It's a new movie, but it's a sequel of. So yeah, no more sequels to old movies. No, no more sequels to old. Evan, classics. I think some of your come up with new shit. Favorite films are sequels. Yes, Aliens is beautiful. About but come up with new shit. I'm sorry. So okay, so. Y- is there like X amount of time where like, all right, it's been too long. You cannot do a sequel. Yes. What? 10 years. I am mad at George Lucas for waiting 20 fucking years, <laughs> 30 fucking years for whatever he came out with, with the pre-sequels. Okay. And then he waited less time for the other sequels. No, because he sold it. Exactly. I think if he had it his way, he would be like, no, let's do another 20 years. But he probably is like, I'm not going to live that long. So let's sell this shit. What's uh, Steven Spielberg making now, like West Side Story? That movie looks stupid. I, I, I don't... I mean, if you're into musicals and everything, sure. Not. But, like, I... Again, I was like, I'm I'm with Evan on this point. I was like, do something original. Why are you remaking a classic? People still love West Side Story. Who? I've seen... People I've that s- can snap and have gang wars. I've seen it before. See, just Not don't have gang favorite. wars and then you're fine. But uh, I don't know. Like, you know, comedies is like the one place because if they do this and it doesn't work, I could care less. You know, that's my thing. Like, you still had twins. You still have that. So whatever. See, I just I want new movies. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, I and do I don't, too. And but... I'm sorry. No, no more superhero movies. I well, that's not going to happen, Evan. Superhero. It's not. I know. It's I'm not sorry. About you. They're too powerful. Yes, it is. Well, I am the consumer. <laughs> I'm. Well, you're one of many. And That's right, and I have power with my dollar. Well, for now, <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. You it's know all about the masses. If you win, I'm gonna say I'm part of the masses, and I'm, I will go see this. You are not, because you poke holes in everything. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna poke holes, but I'm gonna go see it still. 
Like, I like the idea of triplets, like, because I really like twins. But again, like, I, I'm fine. Like, it doesn't just because they bring something back or make a new one or reboot it doesn't make it so that the old one disappears. It's still yes, it there. Does. No, it's Ghostbusters it's 2016. There. What are you talking about? We just talked about a movie that's coming out at Christmas that's doing exactly that. Huh? The Matrix. But it doesn't make the Matrix go away. It's yes, rebooted. it does. No, it doesn't. It's not canon anymore. Why? But no, it still exists. <laughs> Morpheus is younger and blacker. <laughs> this is CGI. <laughs> they're to get canned because they're to don't follow the route of uh. They of can't can Lovecraft. This- country they can't cancel this movie because the directors when they directed the original were men and now they're women <laughs> yes and actually one's not a director yeah, anymore she's not no like lena got it well i know i know she's not involved with this movie but she's just not doing anything anymore yeah i, I think at one point they're like oh we're gonna team up and do the matrix again and then one of them was like oh i got cramps and they're not gonna do it <laughs> Okay. Fuck you. Either way, I'm gonna go see all those movies because it does not mean that the old movies don't exist. I can still watch those. And I enjoy know them. they still exist, but and it's you can like still I watch want, them and enjoy them. I want original content. But it doesn't. Okay, I get that. But so what? Like, I mean, that's what I want. I understand that, and they're still making original content. There's Where? Just all these other shit too. Where is the original content? Triplets you... is not. A twin sequel. You have... It's a twer- triplet. <laughs> hey, well, if well, how would you make a prequel of that? Would it be just called Birth? <laughs> it's actually Junior. Single so. child. Oh, yeah, Junior. <laughs> <Good job. laughs> See? The universe expands. Oh, my God. We have a twins universe. Oh, junior, God. twins, and triplets. Oh. <laughs> Fucking shit. This is the best podcast ever. See? This is the best episode ever. So that scientist, Danny DeVito's character in Junior, like he put his DNA into Jeff Goldblum. The twin the twins thing, the mother. <laughs> mother. See, now if we can go <laughs> back oh. and recreate the sequel, we can pop Tracy Morgan in there as well. Isn't that the whole all comes together? Isn't that the scenario? I don't remember. I think the ser- scenario for triplets is that there was a third per- child that no one was aware of, and it's Tracy Probably. Morgan. You didn't? Oh, okay. Let's what, how on. is that not triplets? That is triplets, but that's what I'm saying. So you're okay. So if somehow <laughs> they went and re-released twins and did a, a little like stinger at the end where there's a black baby, you're like, oh, man, now it's canon. Oh. You'll be okay? I get yeah. it. <laughs> because you have the buff one, the short one, and Tracy Morgan. Yes. The funny one. Yeah, the funny one. He's a funny one. Um, Is he more funny than Danny DeVito? Yes. Danny DeVito was naked in a couch, peeling himself <laughs> out in an episode of It's Always Sunny. Talk about the best Christmas special ever. <laughs> Is always sunny in Philadelphia. God, that show's wow! Impressive. I love it. Yeah. All right. Um, All right. What's our last piece of news, Ryan? Um, we're still talking about Venom. Why? Because it's not out yet. Wait, what? <laughs> it's not out. Has not been released. Yeah. How? No, it was coming out. But it's not yet. Yeah. It's but been, it was coming out though. But it's, a it's year. still coming out. When? October 1st of 2021. Okay. They got pushed ahead, guys. Did They're breaking the week? circle of trust. I don't believe them anymore. I feel like this is going to be like something that will never come out. When the fuck is Spider Verse coming out? The what? Far, the second, the animated? Yeah. Next year, 2022. Can we swap them? No, because it's not done. <laughs> Well, is Venom 2 really done? Yeah. Because it hasn't come out <laughs> I yet. I think it is done. I think it was done like last year, to well, be honest. Guess... Then why is it an out? Because of stupid COVID. <sighs> All right. We have to go down this road Peter, again. Peter, yes! <laughs> Peter, shh, 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 shh. Calm down. Calm, calm, calm down. I'm going to flip this table. You need to Don't try you it. do it. <laughs> <laughs> this table's heavy. I put You'll it get a hernia. Um, Give Sony a call and ask why Twisted Metal is coming out and ask them if they can release Venom right now. <laughs> And Ask then, oh yeah, the Spider Verse. Put that in there too. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, so then, why can't they switch it? No, I just want all three by October first. I'll be happy with that. I don't think that's possible. And then I want a PlayStation Five for me, you, and Evan. What order well, do you each. want me to go in? All October first. <laughs> okay. 
I think... but if you had to like pick like the top priority, which would that be? Oh, easy. PlayStation 5. Oh, okay. Yeah. That might be doable. And, and a also, but a black on. one from for Evan. Yeah. See, I feel like he will get a PlayStation 5 before Venom comes out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that a challenge? No, it's a promise, honestly. All right. I will start searching tonight. <laughs> but okay. But, but for retail price. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I'm not stupid. I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't want you to get fleeced. I uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Of course, I'm, I'll let you play it. Sweet. All right. Thank you. Not you, Peter. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. What? As far as I'm aware, though, <laughs> Venom Two, Let There Be Carnage, it's coming out October first this year. Wait, game and it's rated PG thirteen. That's stupid. Why would I watch that? Because you like Venom. Yeah, you know what? I had a dream the other day where is this the news is that you had a dream is that where this came from <laughs> no I did what you did I clicked headlines I was like that sounds like something cool we can talk about <laughs> but I had a dream where in uh, WandaVision or whatever fucking movie she's coming out in Wolverine showed up but it was the coolest scene ever of Wolverine like you didn't know it was Wolverine at first and then like you saw him clench his fist and blood started coming out of his knuckles, and then his claws came out, and that was his introduction to the MCU. And I, it, I was in a movie theater, and I like ripped my headset off because I was podcasting apparently, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god, I gotta tell everybody why you're on a podcast when you just tell everyone on the podcast." Yeah, and and like I was like, the "MCU did it. They made they put blood in a movie before Venom did because Venom is now uh, rated R. Can you believe I just did that? That was awesome. But you fixed your microphone. But wait, Venom is rated R now? No, it's rated PG-13. So we're not going to see any blood. It's probably going to be more <laughs> campy and funny. It was always rated PG-13. It needs to be rated R. Can we not have a rated R comic book movie? Why? Why is DC the one who gets it? I'm sorry. People are still sore about what happened with the Spawn dual versions. That was hardly rated. I don't even know a scene that was rated R. Wasn't like just one f bomb or something? No, no there was I a... th- there was like nudity in the background or something. I think where? It's I don't know. I, I watched... thought nudity in the background is t- totally PG. <laughs> no, you, but it can only be one tit. We have to remember Titanic uh, or yeah, Titanic <laughs> or Total Recall. Both versions. To total to to total. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna win that one. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Okay. So what I know is Venom was always going to be rated PG-13 and it's going to be released October 1st, 2021. That switched a lot, those release dates. Um, so wait, my... Would it be cool if it was radar? Sure, Ryan. And the other part to your story of this news is that I hope you're 100% right about the Wolverine thing and I hope you go nuts in the middle of the film or the end of the film and run around, yeah, I told you so! And then my claws come out. Even better, and then you run to the podcast, or maybe we are podcasting through the the sh- movie because that'd be cool too. Did I just hope your prediction comes true. That's all I'm saying. We we should all go see Doctor Strange, the second one, and podcast there so that we're prepared. I guess I'll have to see the first one then. I mean, I don't think it's that necessary. But uh, I mean, I don't know. You went and saw Infinity Wars and like in game with us, didn't you? I think I fell asleep during one of those. It's too long. Probably both of them. It, I mean, that's your no, well. one, I, <laughs> one I sto- stayed awake for. The other one, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but you don't even know what I think it was Endgame. Because I'm like, wait, it ended? Um, <laughs> you won't go. Oh. Huh. It was like 300 I ended for that game. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Well, well I don't know. Do we have any other news? I'm sure there's so much more we can talk about, but I think this is enough for one episode. All right. Be sure to visit bmoviesbeyond.com.